the data miners have found ourselves some interesting list of new vehicles. Today we'll be going through all of these things and what could be considered subject to change. Gaussian Entertainment is known for producing a wide variety of products such as War Thunder, Crossout, Star Conflict, Enlisted, and there are a couple of other titles which I have missed. But essentially what you get is a wide range of development. Now this is posted to the War Thunder Reddit. And essentially, Gazabi have posted a list of new aircraft in the Community Development Kit, also known as the CDK, specifically with a whole list of different things. Now, there's a picture library, and we're going to go take a look at the picture library because that, I feel, is a little bit more interesting. Uh, and with that being said, though, don't expect these things to come to game right away. There is quite a lot of other interesting things that could be happening. And what I mean by that is... Think of it more like a list of things, not necessarily something that you could, I guess, tick off, but, you know, take it as something you'd categorize into what is likely to be added and what isn't. Anyway, the first real interesting thing is the H145M. Now, essentially, it's a civilian German Bundeswehr helicopter. Don't think it was armed, but in, in saying that, it's not necessarily uh, that interesting. Aside from the fact that it could hold up to 152 rockets from 30 uh, or 36 tube launched optically tracked wire guided tow missiles now also keep in mind that this might be categorized into several different factors here obviously the vehicles themselves will are pretty interesting but could they be tournament vehicles world war mode or top squadron vehicles could they be rng or not guaranteed vehicles are they going to be build event or builder event vehicles are they going to be an operation summer or a standard task based events or are these vehicles going to be necessarily something that is more uh, I guess a battle pass or maybe twitch drops now we've got another uh, M4375 the A20A now I believe this is an American one so America is really the only one that doesn't really have an A20A or at least the early versions oh it's the Panzerkampfwagen uh, 38 uh, uh, NA so the early prototype version of the Panzer 38 it was an upgrade package for this thing Based on the Panzer 38 chassis, I know they have made armoured recovery vehicles of this thing, so that must be Swedish. Uh, and then we have another Swedish vehicle, the CL, uh, C113 T90. The SDKFZ 251-9. So, you like your little dirt wagons? Well, you can get another one with one of these guns on it. But this really strikes me as odd, okay? This isn't something that I was expecting to see. Cessna 208. What in the blazes is a Cessna 208 doing here? And as someone who flies general aviation, why is there a Cessna 208? I'll link to a, a video by Volpernaut who has actually explained and did a little more in-depth research regarding how uh, Gaussian is developing another product, right? It's called To The Sky, right? It's, it's Gaussian's new flight simulator. Anyway, if you want to watch that, and then a PKV IV. Another float bomber, again, we discovered in the data mine there was, or at least the older version three years ago, that there were four versions of the PBM. Uh, the, there's already one in game, we've got the three. Something interesting actually, Leopard 2 PT-14. There you go. Now that's Schutzenpanzer, so basically the upgraded Puma. There you go if you wanted a Puma, that looks pretty alright. Ah, now we're getting another another scooter, right? An A4M. Beautiful. What what in blue blazes is that? Fantastic. With boosters and all. It's got the camel back on the top. Beautiful. Just what we needed. Another Skyhawk. The hood. Oh god. Uh, I'm not gonna even cover that one. Uh the Alaska for a uh, battle cruiser, there you go. And something actually interesting, the H56A. The uh, SDKFZ. 25122, what appears to be a, is that a Pack 43? Pack 40? I'm not entirely sure. Possible event vehicle, the Gaz 75. Looks like a, a pro project development of the ISU series, at least, or a competitor to. And finally, we have a Marta uh, configuration that is actually quite interesting. The Marta DF-105, which basically has an oscillating AMX. Oh my goodness. Shackleton, the Mark 1. See, it's been so long that people have been holding on to hope for having the Shackleton and having several different types of heavy aircraft in game that they've outlived their purpose. I'd say that majority of the times that War Thunder is not necessarily nowadays catered towards these bomber pilots. If only we had a different game mode called Enduring Confrontation where these types of aircraft could be useful. Okay, another Leclerc version. What on the fuck is that? <laughs> That's a Rui Cat 
with what appears to be some sort of missile system. It has to be a surface-to-air missile system. There is no, no doubt about that. It can't be a tow system, or it, it can't be the necessary... Actually, no. This was one of the vehicles that was in the teaser trailer for the Iqua Strike, the T-54E2. Now, we have already have the E1 in the game. Vickers Mark III, okay, another export version of the Vickers. That's always good to see. The Ye-64, uh, basically... Apache. The MT-460 Super Mysteria B2, which again is a bit interesting because this is Israeli. This vehicle is an interesting one, and I'd love to see it. Not the system 172, but the 152. For fans of the F5, there is another variant of them. Great. Another horde of them are going to be roaming around. Followed by the float plane uh, version of the 152. Interesting. This will be a great event vehicle for War Thunder one day, hey? Uh, followed that up by the Vigan. What looks to be a vegan my goodness me i want to fly it so bad this should have been in the previous patch for rank 7 so there you go there's a rank 7 aircraft that'll be coming to war thunder i can't wait to get my hands on that thing and then a swedish version of the huey so swedish helicopter soon to you a naval variant of the p-59 let's go have a look is there a p-59 a naval p-59 what would they call it but there is the m6 little bird which is the u.s army scout helicopter i suppose we have another strike aircraft of sorts, another bomber. It's time for the RAF. We have a later variant of the Shenyang. This is the P-40, uh, sorry, P-30, hang on, what's it called? This one is the P, something or other, P-35. This is basically a predecessor to what we already have in game is the P-43. There is the F-105. I don't know which model it is, whether it's an A or whether it's a V. Um, but there it is, which is a vehicle which you can play in World of Tanks. It's essentially a French light tank. What looks to be another radar vehicle for an American-based chassis, I presume. Followed up by the Type 10. There we go. Japan main <laughs> hooray. You finally get an upgraded Type 10. That's fantastic. Uh, and then there's obviously this thing. Oh, you can't go anywhere with this thing. What is that called? A Type 3 Karchi. <laughs> there you go. There you go, another float plane. Oh, well, float plane. This is a float tank. I wonder if this thing will be amphibious. It better be amphibious. Game, another version of the Avro Shackleton. This time, a later variant. High interception, uh, what looks to be a Mark VII Spitfire. Now, this thing actually has the world uh, highest engagement, or let's, let's say confirmed kill of World War II. I think it shot down a, a special pressurized Ju-88. And now we get to the wonderful, weird, and wacky. Now, these have been in the game for well, at least a, a while. I, I've seen reports of these posted around. These are your cruiser tanks. New mechs, if you can see, for France, we've got the IBM Bat, the M1942 for Germany, the Tiger uh, Alves B41. This is, so, again, this is pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> and there's all these kind of new uh, mechanized units. We'll go over these here. Look at this King Tiger here with all its extra armor on board. Got your Panther 2 looking <laughs> mech warrior. When, when can War Thunder become a mech game? Oh look, there's an anti-air version of the same mech warrior with a M42 Duster and a couple of Panzerfausts. And then the most ungodfully uh, forsaken whatever the hell this is. This is going to give me nightmares. Look at that. What looks to be... But the funny thing is that's got an... Is that an IS turret or is that an Australian turret? Yeah, it would make sense for something like that to come out of Australia, wouldn't it? And then you have something that looks quite actually cool here. You've got an M4 with what looks to be an interesting variety of guns and Vulcans. Because why not? And also it's got the rockets. A Panzer III on what looks to be an armoured truck that's bent backwards. It's almost like Transformers, in a way. But keep in mind, as I said to some other people, that these could be not guaranteed to come to game. Anyway... If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, if you want to see more hideous contraptions, then I suggest you check out my Twitter where I do occasional aircraft photoshopping and reposting of some interesting things that come up with cursed contraptions like such, or aircraft that shouldn't be uh, designed. Anyway, if, if, if there's any other comments or any other things, let me know down below. And my name is Ash, and I'll catch you next time.